Hello guys, so this is the Rosin Genius and I'm going to be doing a quick review of the GAF deck. So I bought this GAF deck like two years ago for about $25, something like that. And I just want to show you this very quickly, it's just a quick review of it. And every time I say quick then it's... Every time I say the word quick or fast it ends up being like 10 minutes. So I hope that this is not going to be five or ten minutes long but anyways maybe it's gonna be ten minutes I don't know but as you can see here is the box it's like a normal bicycle box but the difference is it's that it's written backwards all the writings are written backwards on the box yes and that's what makes it a gaff deck I think anyways let's move on to the cards and let me show you how they look like so that's the box, the words they are written backwards and also these words right here, if you can see it the words are written backwards yes, okay anyways then we have the cards and these are actually very old cards, I've used them a lot and it's a great deck, I've used it for a lot of tricks Let's begin with the top card, an ace of spades that is twirled around and what you can do is you can do a double lift like if you have an ace of spades second from the top you can do a double lift and then you can take it and then you can twirl it like this I, ha I have a tutorial on this move if you want to check it out and then it becomes twirly so that's one of the cards let me place it down here so you can look at it then we have another card, this is, these cards, they are actually very nice. Uh, let me show you this once again, just like this. As you can see we have the, we have a skeleton that is inside a coffin. And one of the skeletons is holding the two of clubs as a reveal. And I used to use it a lot, what I used to do I used to have these two cards on top and then I used to do a double lift and I used to say look here we have a skeleton and and then I place it in their hands and then I force the two of clubs and then I snap and it holds their card. It's a, it's a great trick, I've used it a lot and yes. Let's move on to the different cards we have. I don't remember the name of this, I think it's, I think it's called the Black Tiger deck, I don't remember. But we have a bicycle card with a black and a red face. And then we have the Five of Spades. And this Five of Spades, uh, I used to use this to do a trick where I have one five and then I print another five. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, like a, it's almost like a lefty deck. It's just a little different, yes. Then we have the two jokers and one of the jokers has a blue bicycle card just like this and one of, and one of the other jokers it has, a, it has a reveal which is the six of hearts as you can see. So the next card that we actually have it's the, it's the uh, three and a half and three and a half clubs I think it's called. I used to use this a lot where you can split a uh, where you can split a card to the two three and halves. Then we have something more. What do we have? Oh, this is nice. We have we have the uh, three aces, and what what I what I used to do with these aces, I used to switch them out, and then I used to do this and smash them. That's also very nice. And then we have these two cards. So what's supposed to happen is that you're supposed to take a card like this out of your pocket and you're supposed to say, look, as you can see we have a zipper and somehow we need to open it. And you know, I am left-handed. Uh, I No, I am actually, I, I write with my right hand, but when it comes to magic then I do, then I palm cards with my left hand. And th this is meant for right-handed magicians. But what you're supposed to do is that, now look, if you are doing this, if I was right-handed, I was supposed to do it on this corner. But if I'm left-handed, I'm supposed to do it on this corner, which I can't do. 
And this trick is supposed to be like this, you take the card out, you say, okay, look, we have a, we have a zipper, as you can see, down here, and if we just open it up, just like that, and it's the four of spades, something like that. Okay, I've been talking for five minutes, and I was not hoping that it was gonna be so long, but anyways, I was not hoping that this video was gonna be so long, but anyways, let me still try to do this. There's a spade with no spade inside. It's just a ace of spades with no spade. Then we have the 13 of diamonds. I love this card. I used to force the... And I still do this sometimes. I Sometimes I force the 10 of diamonds and the 3 of diamonds. And then I say, what is 10 plus 3? And then I take the 3 cards and then I do a duck change. It's a great move. Then we have... Uh, this is just a normal queen of spades. It's because I used to I used to put a, I used to put the queen of spades in this deck for another trick, and then we have these three cards, and this is actually very nice because what uh, this is supposed to if I can do this, it's supposed to look something like this where you take like the queen. You snap, it becomes dark, no, it becomes lighter, and then the last one, as you can see, the queen is actually very light, just like that. It's supposed to look something like this, I don't remember, but anyways, it's, uh, it's very nice, it's a great trick, I have used it sometimes. This deck is worth the money, I bought it for around 20 or 30 dollars. This is also great, you can say like, um, this is also a great card, because you can say like, now look, we snap, one card jumps to the top, what was your card? The two of spades, and yours, eight of clubs, okay look. And then you can do something like this and show that there is a eight of clubs down there. Then we have something more, we have a bicycle card that is blank, with a six of, with, with a six of spades on the back. Then we have a card that looks like this, and this is the seven of spades. And what you can do is, I've used this a lot because you can actually, like let's say you were doing something like this. Uh, let's say that this is the seven of spades, alright? You will be able to shake it and then it's supposed to change to the seven of spades just like that. Anyways. Wait, uh, seven, 7 of spades, that's blurred out. Then we have the 4 kings. These are actually skeleton kings, as you can see. They're very nice, I've never used it. I hit my tripod by an accident. Then we have... Uh, this is the ace of spades that is missing from the other ace of spades. The ace is on this back, and then there is ace of hearts on this side. Then we have the king of diamonds with the pip down, like this, and we have a king of diamonds with with like a, a bullet hole, or how it's called, it's like a shot or something, and why you have this one, it's because, let's say that this is a normal king, let's say it's a normal king, what you can do, you can do a double lift, and then you can say, look at the pip, alright, just look at it, now look. I'm just going to take it all the way down there. Something like that, that's how it's supposed to be done. Uh, we have about half of the deck, and there is a Ace of Spades. This, uh, this is a Ace of Spades from a different deck, made in Blue Bicycles. And then we have these three cards, they are very nice. I have used them a lot, and what you're doing is that you're making the four pips come from um, the... Uh, you're making the four pips come from one position to this position, and it's very really nice. This is a four of clubs with a king of clubs reveal. As you can see, this is the king of clubs. It took me two years to notice that this was a king of clubs. I'd never see it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Then we have the three of spades that is like where the ink is like, where you like do this and the ink is, I don't know what's called. Then we have a blue card with a 
with like a, I don't know what this is called too, like a blue, blue, blue and a red card, I don't know, and it's the nine of diamonds. I have never used it, I don't even know what you're supposed to do with it. And we have the ten of spades and the ten of hearts, I used to use this a lot. I used to do it one more, I used to do where I force the ten of spades and the ten of hearts and then I do a duck change with the card. And then we have the queen of... It's a normal card, I think. Yes, it is. Then we have... Oh, these two cards, they're nice. I used to use this as well. I used to uh, I used to do a double lift and say like... Look, we have the we have a skeleton or something like that. And I used to hold it. And then I used to force the king of diamonds. And then when I took it back, it has... Th then when they turn the car over, it has a king with a diamond inside the mouth. What we have more, we actually have the 5 of clubs with 4 pips. And then we have the 4 of clubs with 5 pips, as you can see. And then we have uh, Ace of Spades in Blue Bicycle with a different font or picture. And then we also have these two cards again. As you can see inside the eye of the eagle or the bird there is a reveal and the reveal is actually the five of spades and in the other one there is nothing. For, for this you can also for this you can also just do a double lift show there's no reveal and then give it out. It's, it's the same as all the other reveals. Then we actually have a bicycle card with the box I have used this for the David Stone gimmick. David Stone, he made a trick where I made the uh, gimmick box with this card. Then we have these two cards once again Ace of Clubs, nothing here. There's Ace of Clubs, there's nothing, and you can do a double lift, hand it out, and reveal it. Force the card, then we have 10 of Diamonds. I used to use this a lot too. I used to have the 10. I used to have the Ten of Diamonds on top and show you this is the Ten of Diamonds and then I used to top change it while I talk and then shake it and show that it fell down. Then we also have the Four of, four of Spades with a fingerprint. I don't know, I never used it but uh, I think it's a good trick. We have the Five of Spades that's blurred out. We have the Four of Spades where it's, it's written Eight of Hearts on the card if you can see it. Down here it's written 8 of hearts, as you can see, 8 of hearts, and this is on the 4 of spades, then we have the ace of spades, in, in a, then we have a tally ho ace of spades in a bicycle, and then we have a different, we have a different ace of spades in in a bicycle font again, or how it's called, and then we have a six of spades. It's like an old six of. Six of blah, I can't speak English. We have like an old six of spades, and anyways, that was everything we had. To, that was everything I had to talk about. And you know, I really hope you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. It's just a deck review on the Gaff deck. It's a very nice deck. It's it's nice to look at the ideas that other magicians have and it's a it's a great deck actually. I like it a lot. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I really I really I cannot speak English. I'm trying to do my best. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I really hope you enjoy the video and if you like the video then feel free to subscribe. I hope you like it and see you next time.